Drowned have announced these really, really, really cool, buttery, soft brown sambas. And I think they look absolutely delightful. And they happen to have the one and only, the special one, Jose Mourinho, modeling for them absolutely fantastic so this is courtesy of jound you know who jound is they do a bunch of collaborations with adidas they've done a recent one that came out that got a lot of controversy um the made in germany actually made in vietnam adidas sambas i think i spoke about that on the previous pod but they've now got another collaboration with adidas under the with using the sambas again which i don't have a problem with by the way i think a lot of people are getting you know their knickers in a twist because it's another samba because it's a simple colorway i personally love that jound stick to what they do mostly monochromatic mostly very simple colorways but with the highest level quality of materials just to offer an alternative here. there's already loud many many loud um you know samba collaborations out there that you can get if you want to kind of express your personality through a pair of samba but if you just want a nice classic colorway especially an all brown sh- an all brown sneaker which you know is a classic with there's many all brown sneakers in the past i can think of like a curry dunk um, it's kind of you know a staple of in sneakers um you know you can always go with these type of ones especially when it's got this type of finish and suede on it as well because you're probably unlikely to get a level of samba like this um, done as a gr courtesy of ada so unfortunately only john can do it so i'm a big fan of these and as well so courtesy of the john website it says as follows adas originals and john come together once more to unveil um, a new take on the other Samba shoe model, paying homage to the original Samba tobacco shoe model and accompanied by a capsule of apparel accessories, the collection is inspired by football heritage off court looks. This time, the classic hue and materials of a tobacco are applied on the iconic Samba silhouette, celebrating the year of the Samba in a blend of past and present added that this is a practice soccer ball complemented by a black nylon tracksuit tapped off with a versatile shoulder bag perfect for carrying essentials um, the collection will be available from june 25th 12 p.m est on jam.com as well as the 27th on the confirmed adidas app and select stores so as you can see here you've got this buttery soft suede brown adidas samba essentially just two colors um, I love the fact that I think I mentioned it previously before when it comes with shoes when they like two I think I've, I said the perfect color combination is usually two to three colors but I love that when you have this sort of color you have this brown but you apply it in different materials you get different sort of finishes so on the stripes and on the heel tab you've almost got like a new buck finish but then on the main body you got this hairy suede and then you've got this nice embossed gold foil jound logo on the side here so with this browns you get a different type of effect different finish of a brown because it's a new buck and you get different effect when it's in the hairy suede you get a different color when it's the laces the cotton ones and you get different when it's like the outwardly gum sole so i think that just makes it just look quite cool even if the hues are different even if the pantone color codes are a bit different i love that just changing the material can obviously change the final effect of the shoe itself and the color so that looks really really cool um as you can see here you've also got a nice jound hit on the inside of the insole which is really nice i love that they're flipped on either side so they're legible on either side that you're wearing them um the je- the samba tongue also isn't the super long one that flaps over like a soccer shoe it's a bit shorter um which i kind of prefer i'm not gonna lie and probably a little bit easier to wear but sometimes that flap can be a nice little detail um you got the heel tab that's completely plain i can feel like yep there's no um tray foil logo on the heel tab completely plain the only logos that you've got really showing is adidas are the stripes and you've got the jound embossing there so i think that's a nice touch as well because usually they have the adidas tray foil logo on the back of the heels but this is a nice little flip i'm not really too mad at that again the buttery soft suede looks really fantastic and then of course as on the outsole you've got this nice gum sole here which you know is a classic when it comes to samba so i'm all well and good with that one and then of course the box as well classic blue adidas box jound and the adidas hit on the top i think normal adidas boxes have a bit of white in it but they just went for the completely blue um colorway which i'm not too mad at but the other thing that i really fucking love in this collection is some of the accessories um the small capture collection you've got this really nice t-shirt um i'm not really sure what the material is but it's almost like a soccer jersey done in a style of a t-shirt with wrangland sleeves it's really fucking nice it's monochrome all white 
really fucking cool you've got two hits logos here you've got the what do you call it you've got the adidas logo on the crest here the trefoil on the chest and you've also got the the jam logo embroidered on the other side um what's the actual material here it says slim fit free stripe pattern self wrangle and sleeve with free tonal stripes um custom tonal embossed logo i don't know what the material oh, it's 100 percent polyester so it basically is a football jersey material but it's kind of cut like a t-shirt i love it i love what it looks like and obviously you've got the nice little hit there on the tag with a jound underneath the adidas logo itself and you've also got a really cool tracksuit which is completely black um adidas tracksuit jacket almost just like a coach jacket a little bit but it has got an elasticated waist here if i'm not mistaken um double-sided zips which i'm always a big fan of wrangler and sleeves tonal you can't really go wrong with that and then you've got some track pants which i would have preferred the track pants to be without the elasticated hems personally but considering these are adidas track pants you know usually these sort of things especially soccer ones they kind of look good when they have the elasticate because you could usually just pull your socks over them and for a little bit of a styling hit but i do prefer them without the elastic but then the, the the biggest part as well is one of these bags. I think these are gonna be very popular with a lot of people online. Um, the Jown shoulder bag. These are definitely prime for a festival. Stick a couple baggies of ket in here and shit, you know. Uh, maybe a couple of edibles and a little zoot here when you're going to fucking best of all wherever you're fucking going to. So these will be very popular, I think, especially with the embossed Jown logo as you can see there, and a little Adidas trefoil logo there on the side. And then finally, you got the ball and the most important thing. You've got the fucking campaign pictures featuring the special one and former Manchester United manager, Jose Mourinho, looking absolutely fantastic. He makes it look fucking great, by the way. You got the jound bag. He's got the jacket. He's, I think he's wearing also maybe a jound Oxford shirt. That might be a collaboration with Brooks Brothers or something. But he makes the fucking thing look so fucking cool. Like, you cannot deny that he does make it look fucking amazing. Even the shoes. Look at how Jose, look at Jose Mourinho stunting. Look at him stunting in the shoes. Look how good they look on him. Fuck, bro. This is why I mean Jound is perfect because they do all this sort of stuff and it's really subtle, but most likely you wouldn't be able to find a tr Adidas tracksuit in that particular style with that particular finish. Um, the added, you know, added Jound thing on the top maybe gives it a bit of an extra splice. So if you're in the know, you'll know what I'm going. But if you like your loud collaborations, you might be a bit annoyed by it, but I fucking love it. Like, look how great that looks. If you saw some guy sitting in the cafe wearing this fucking outfit, you'd think they, they, they were swagged out. There's no way that you would not be impressed if you saw someone in a cafe just sitting down with these buttery, soft, brown Adidas Sambas, you know, on their phone and shit with this great fucking tracksuit. Like, what a great fucking lookbook and shoot. I fucking love it. What a great result. So big up, John. Big up, Justin Saunders. Always love their collaborations and what they do. And I think they knocked this one out of the park once again. Jose Mourinho modeling them. The only thing I'd say is a little faux negative. The lacing is fucked. I'm not a big fan of how everyone doesn't lace their shoes properly. I hate this type of lacing. Like, you got to relace this shit. This has to be over, not under, but whatever. But that's just nitpicking. But I don't like the fact that people just take shoes from the factory and just put them on models and don't actually relace them. But you can't be mad at this. Like, you know, he's at some quintessential. It looks like a Spanish cafe, um, maybe somewhere in Madrid sitting down having a coffee having a good time and yeah i fucking love it i 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 love it and i will be trying maybe very unsuccessfully to get a pair myself let's see how that pans out big up fucking jound big up blood clot jound we love to see it we absolutely love to see it